continued to build out our our application, and we uh, had created um, <clears throat> we had created a table in a database of um, of volunteers, and now we were able to launch a view uh, that could pull up all of our volunteers. Now the challenge here is um, at this point when our program launches. Let's launch it here. Um, Although we can see people that are in the database, we can't actually get to our other scene to create new users. So we need to have, we're going to add in here a button that allows us to create a new user. And when we click it, what we want to do is go to the other scene where we can create a new user. And when we hit save, we want to be able to come back to this scene. So let's get that working. Now, <clears throat> uh, first things first, let's go to our views and in here. I want to add some buttons underneath here. So over time, we can you know, create new users, edit users. We can look at the hours they've logged, all kinds of stuff like that. So let's put a container uh, to hold some buttons. And um, let's add in a button bar. And we can do here, do, 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 do. Our button bar. Just looking for hmm. you know what? Let's get rid of the button bar and let's put in a toolbar. So I like the way it. Uh, handles orientation better. And we'll have a button here called Create New Volunteer. Okay, so we have a button. Click it. What we want to happen is it'll go to our other scene. So let's hit Save. And so I'm in the Volunteer Table View Controller, right? It's the controller for this view. And let's, uh, let's just collapse things so we can see what we have so far. So, uh, so far, uh, we have an initialize method and a load volunteers method. So what we need to do is we have a method for create new volunteers. So let's go here. Let's just have our, <clears throat> our JavaFX action event here. Be sure with the action event that you do not choose the AWT one. Um, so where do I put it here? So you really want the JavaFX action event. Now, to change scenes, if we look at the main method, this is what's required to load um, a, base, a base scene, OK? Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a utility for ourselves to handle this scene changing because we don't want to be retyping this stuff all the time. So what I'm going to do is inside of my views, I'm going to create a little kind of utility class. And let's just call this uh, scene changer. So what this class will do is it'll change scenes for us. And we'll just use the default constructor. And <clears throat> basically, we want to pass in the title of our new scene. We want to pass in the name of uh, the file that we want to load, 
and then we want to be able to uh, change over to that scene. So we'll say public void, change scenes, and we'll pass in an action event, that we'll call the event. We'll pass in the view name, and we will pass in the title that we want for our view, or for our scene. Make sure again, when you're importing to get the JavaFX action event, and we're going to create FX ML loader, and we'll just call this thing our loader. So it's new FXML loader. And this allows, <clears throat> we're, going to, uh, we're going to be using a similar method uh, down the road with more robust scene changes where we want to pass information from scene to scene. In this case, we won't need to do that. So I'm going to say loader, set the location. This is uh, basically what file we want to load. So we're going to say get class, get the resource, and it's this resource. So if you look at our main, this is whatever fxml file we want to load. So in here, we're going to put the view name. And we can create a parent object. And then from that, we can create our scene, our imports. OK. Um, <clears throat> and then, whoops. Uh, what we need to do is uh, get the uh, stage from our event, right? So that's why we pass the event in, because we need, um, so for example, on, uh, on our table view, we click on the button, it triggers an event. In order to change the scene, I need to use that event to get the parent window or the parent stage. We get the source, and then we can get the scene, and then we can get the window. Add in all our imports, and then really all we have to do is we say, okay, well, stage, set the title. To whatever was passed in. Set the scene, be the scene that we created, and let's show it. Save. Now, <clears throat> ideally, I'd love to do this as a static method, but I find that static methods um, seem to not be happy when I pass in an event from a uh, non static um, environment. So, We'll have to create a scene changer object and then change the scenes. So here, we're going to say scene changer. Let's call it SC. Equals new scene changer. And then to change the scenes, all I have to do is I scene changer dot change scenes. Use the event. Okay. Now in this case, uh, 
the view name that I want is the new user view. So I'm going to pass in a string that says new user view .fxml. And the title I want to give it is create new volunteer. Now this throws an IO exception. So I can do a couple different things. I can either put this inside of a try catch or I can add the throws clause. So I'll just add the throws clause for now. Because if it can't find this file, I want it to blow up. I want it, I want to know what's going on. Okay. So the last step is now we need to connect this, this button with this. So click on here, go to code, and we'll say new volunteer button pushed. Hit save. Okay. So now when I run this. We can see we have this nice little bar here and it says create new volunteer. If I click it, it clicks over to our create new user scene. Now, the challenge here is I create a new user, I hit save, and it's gonna just stay on the screen. What I want it to do is go back. I'm gonna go back to the table view and see that I've actually created a user. So what I need to do is I need to update how the save button works. So click on that. So let's go to our new user controller. So in here, we had a couple methods, uh, choosing the image button, initialize method, and then we had the save volunteer. So this is the, the method we really want to look at, right? So when we push that save button, what do we want to have happen? So we're going to load in our appropriate image and create our volunteer. And then <clears throat> we're going to insert that volunteer into the database. And if it didn't blow up, right, if we didn't, create uh, an exception, then what I want to do is I want to change scenes. So I'm going to say scene changer. And then I'll say sc.changeScenes. Okay. And I already have my action event up here. What I want to do now is go to the volunteer table. So I'm going to say volunteer table view.fxml. And I want to pass in, this is all volunteers. So by creating that utility class, now I have a couple great things going on. One, very easy to write the code <laughs> to change scenes. Two, because I'm forcing it to not only give me the actual name of the file I want to go to, I'm also forcing it to give a title. It makes my life a little easier. I, I, I've done this before by not doing this, and what happens is you tend to forget to change the title from scene to scene to scene, and it looks it looks a little clunky. So now let's try it. So create a new volunteer. All right, uh, new guy with a phone number of um, two 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 three three four four four, and we can go with just a default image because we've already tested that. I hit save. And it comes back to my database here, <clears throat> and there's new guy has been created. So what happens if you know I'm looking at things, I hit this, and then I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? I just want to go back. At this point, I either have to close the program, or I need to create a new user. Um, so we really need the ability of like a cancel button here. So let's add that in as well. So let's go to our new user view, and we're going to add in another button here. So I guess we did that as an anchor pane before. Um, maybe I'd prefer that as an HBox now that I now that I think about it. So let's make it an HBox. Get rid of the anchor pane altogether. And then with the whoop, that inside of Our label. Uh oh, <laughs> putting them in the wrong spots here. Usually, it's a little easier than this. Why is this having so much trouble? Okay, here we go. I just want it underneath this. Yeah.
There we go. Okay, so for our H box, what we can do is um, we can say rather than having it top left, let's go uh, bottom bottom right, and then if we want to add in another button, and this one, let's call it cancel, and do our usual. 20 spaces between them. And we may able to change the order because usually cancels on the other side. There we go. Now check out how great this is that we have this scene changing utility. So now if I want to go back, if I go into my new user view controller, let's create a cancel. I'll do a new scene changer. Do, do, do volunteer table view. And the title, let's keep the same title as we use down here. All volunteers. Hit save. And let's go back into our view. And we'll connect it. Go down to code. So when someone clicks on it, cancel button pushed. Hit save. And now when we run this, create a new volunteer, no wait, cancel. See, it comes back. It doesn't, doesn't, uh, it just jumps right, right back. And then if we wanted to create a new volunteer, we could actually just fill in the form and, and run with it. So there you have it. Now we're able to change scenes in our utility. Cheers.